Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through file allocation methods, guys. So basically, how the files are allocated or stored in your hard disk. So that's what we are going to learn in this lecture. Fine. File allocation methods. So the allocation methods define how a file are stored into your hard disk. Fine. Okay. So basically, there are three different methods, guys, which we will be discussing in this tutorial. Okay. So the three methods are nothing but the contiguous allocation linked allocation indexed allocation so i hope everyone completed this second unit that is nothing but paging and everything memory management so if you completed memory management you should have an idea about this word contiguous contiguous is nothing but one after the other so if the address is started filling from this block so the next blocks will also be filled till here means this block will also be filled so contiguous the blocks which are one after the other that is nothing but contiguous linked I hope everyone know about linked list like this after this this after this this so this may not be contiguous right linked list means they will, they will be having a particular link then indexed so indexed is nothing but we will be having an index according to them they are stored fine okay so I gave an introduction for all the three we will be discussing with examples guys don't worry okay so the main idea behind these methods is to provide efficient disk space utilization to utilize the space maximum and to provide the fast access of the file blocks to provide the fast access of the file blocks we'll be using these file allocation algorithms or methods guys okay so now let us go through the first contiguous allocation okay i told you the meaning of the word contiguous what is contiguous guys we'll be allocating one after the other so in this scheme each file occupies the contiguous set of blocks in the disk or of the disk so address starting the block and the length of the partition of the block are mentioned. So let us assume this is a directory. Okay. So they will be, excuse me, sorry for that. So we will be, for, for example, let us take a small directory structure guys. So in that we are having the file name and starting length, starting and the length of the allocation. So I told you that, right? Okay. So now let us try to draw for this guys. Okay, so let me start it here. So initially it's, it is ending at 28 plus 4. What is 28 plus 4 guys? It is 32, right? Okay, 32. So we need to have at least 35, 30, 32 blocks. Fine. Okay, so let me draw it here. I'll be just drawing it a bit big guys. So that we can manage them really neatly. Basically I did, uh, it's something like rough here. Okay, so that's the reason why I'm just trying to do it a bit better here. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Okay guys, so we got total 36. So please remember that if you start from 0, it's okay. Or start from 1. So I'll be starting from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So if you ask me why did I start from 0? Because there here we are having count. Which is starting at 0 and the length is 2. Okay. Okay. So now let us start. So take the first thing as it is nothing but count. The file name is count. And it is starting at 0 and length is 2. So fill the 0th block and length is 2. So here it is 1. Only the next one. Now it is 2. So this is our first block. I'll be just giving the number 1. Fine. So that is nothing but your count. So we are having TR, the file name, starting at 14 and the size is 3. Where is 14? 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is 14 and the length is 3. We are done with 1, 2, 3. So if you observe, I am filling the contiguous blocks, the blocks which are one after the other. So this is done in contiguous allocation guys please remember and please try to understand guys you'll be understanding it's really easy thing mail it is from 19 and 6 so here we are having 17 18 19 we are having 6 right 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स सो यू कैन जस्ट ड्रॉ इट इन दिस वे सो दिस विल बी योर थर्ड राइट थर्ड सो नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग लिस्ट विच स्टार्ट एट ट्वेंटी एट सो इट इज ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन टू थ्री फोर so this will be your four so similarly the last one six to two so it starts at six and only size is two six and seven so this will be your five so in this way the contiguous allocation does guys so you will be filling one after the other so if he started at five and he said at ten so five six seven eight nine five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen till fourteen you will be filling so in this way the contiguous allocation will be done so now let us go through the next type of allocation okay so let us go through advantages and disadvantages guys so the advantage is is both the sequential and direct access is supported in contiguous allocation and the disadvantage is it is not so much flexible and increasing the file size will be a huge problem please remember this guys this is really important thing in contiguous allocation so i hope everyone got a small idea guys in the next tutorial we will be going through linked list allocation guys thank you thanks for watching